For centuries, the United Kingdom was abundant in huge numbers of beautiful native species, such as red squirrels. Now, just 120,000 survive in the wild. Their decline is due partly to the introduction of the American Grey Squirrel. The Victorians first introduced the American Grey Squirrel to the UK during the 1800s, some 2.6 million years after the native Red Squirrel arrived in the UK. We naturally don't want to lose another native species from our landscapes. However, it's not just about saving the Red Squirrel. The grey problem is far wider than that. Biodiversity of our ecosystems have been severely damaged due to the invasive grey squirrel. You see, grey squirrels enter our broadleaf woodlands, gnaw at the tree to get to the sweet, sap-filled layers just beneath the bark, stopping the sugars from moving around the trunk and eventually the trees will die. Damage to trees by the invasive grey is costing the forestry industry in excess of £14 million pounds per year, forcing the industry to plant non-native species with detrimental ecological effects. You see, an abundance of native flora and fauna relies on these woodlands to survive. When the ancient woodlands die, so do the bluebells, the wild garlic and other plant life. The forest floor houses thousands of invertebrate species, meaning when the plants die, so do the insects, which rely on it to survive. When the insects die, the voles, mice and songbirds disappear too. Songbird chicks and their nests are also a favourite raid for a grey squirrel's diet, with an adverse impact on many native woodland birds, reducing fledgling rates by an average of 15%. With the woodlands empty of food sources, birds of prey, foxes, polecats and badgers all start to leave their natural home. The worst thing is that this ecological replacement happens over very short timescales. The introduction has been detrimental to the biodiversity decline of our living ecosystems over the past century. Without conservation management, not only could red squirrels become extinct in England within 10 years, but our whole living landscapes as we know it will slowly disappear. Together as a nation, with widespread grey squirrel control, ecological science and conservation efforts, we can have the most remarkable effects. From projects already showing success, such as in the Northwest, grey squirrel control is restoring our natural heritage. The woodlands started to regenerate, and in some areas, a massive 30% increase in woodland canopy growth. In turn, producing new tree saplings, bluebells and wild garlic thrived in ancient woodlands, creating a home for thousands of wildlife species. The number of songbirds and migratory birds started to increase as the woodlands again created a food source for nesting birds to raise their hungry chicks. And as a result of the habitats flourishing, the number of voles and mice began to rise, which meant more birds of prey and predators increased. The red squirrels then, either naturally or via reintroduction, also returned, and the balanced native biodiversity was saved.